Hi, Jamie here. Thank you for taking a couple of minutes out of your day to watch this video. I get a lot of questions from potential clients and current clients about what happens to their house during the divorce. Can they sell it? Can they buy out their spouse's interest? And what happens if they don't agree? I know that this can be a stressful topic for people. Let's be honest, we all have an emotional attachment to our house. Whether we bought it early in the relationship or raising our family, whatever it is, it causes stress for people to not know what's gonna happen with their house. I wanna take a couple minutes today to relieve some of that stress for you. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Can your house be sold during the divorce process? The answer is yes. If both parties agree that the house should be sold and you don't want to wait for the final resolution to be done, your attorneys can draft an interim agreement during the course of your divorce dealing solely with the sale of the house. There may be repairs that need to be made. There may be other things to take into consideration, but it is a possibility. One of the things that you're going to want to think about if you go this route is what happens with the proceeds from the sale of the house. Are they held in escrow? Some or all? Do you disperse them during the course of divorce? Every case is different, and it's something you really need to talk to your attorney about. Now I wanna discuss what happens if either you or your spouse wanna buy out the other's interest. This is also a possibility in divorce, but it's not as common. A lot of times with a buyout, we're waiting till the end of a case in order to effectuate that buyout. The reason is, is that you need to understand the full scope of your financial obligations and what you're going to have to be able to ensure that you can in fact pay for the buyout, but also afford to stay in the house. I think it is a critical mistake when attorneys rush a buyout in a settlement, because I think it's important for the client to understand that they have the financial resources, not only to pay their spouse, but also to stay in that house comfortably. So they're not feeling pinched and stretched right out of the gate when the divorce is finalized. So now I wanna talk about what happens if you're in the middle of divorce and one spouse wants to sell the house and one spouse doesn't. The court is available in that instance for one party to file an application to sell the house and one party to oppose it. Essentially what you're asking the court to find is that disrupting the status quo, which means moving the spouse, spouses and potentially children out of the house is necessary because the financial hardship to the family outweighs disrupting that status quo. It's not an easy application to make, and it's not one that we make frequently, but sometimes it's a necessary motion to file with the court and something that you really need to consider with an attorney. I truly hope that you found this information helpful. I know that this can be stressful and it's important that you talk to an attorney who knows what they're doing. Our goal is to help you navigate this issue and many others so that you feel confident that you have all the answers that you need, whether you're going through the divorce process now or just considering it. When you are ready, and I mean truly ready, please don't hesitate to pick up the phone and schedule a planning session with one of the attorneys in our office. We're here to help.